Hey hello there guys, Broxons here, and welcome back to another episode of the Ever Oasis series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we started our own oasis, and now we are actually going to go to sleep until tomorrow, because tomorrow we have many big tasks to do. So without further ado, here we go, we're going to sleep, and now we are just going to wait through the night, but there's actually a little bit of text right now, so let's see here. But what is this chaos? The notion that it absorbs life is nothing short of terrifying. You are one of few who can create oases. Someday you'll be just like your brother. Alex, you must seek out residents who you can trust and support you in your adventures. I am confident that someday, not long from now, you will make an even more splendid oasis chief than myself. Is that our brother talking to us? That's very interesting. That is very interesting indeed. So here we go, we're about to wake up and we are about to start another day. So here we go, the gates are opening and it looks like there are some people walking into our oasis. So let's go and talk to them because, you know, the more people we talk to, the better. And here's Pammy, a person who will hopefully be a new resident in our oasis. Anyways, let's see what they're saying. Phew, I'm saved. Who could have imagined there be an oasis in a place like this? Okay, Pammy, a somewhat frail seedling boy. It sounds like he wants some fruit. Well, I mean, you could go to one of the bloom booths and you could get some fruit because the only bloom booth that we have actually sells fruit, so that's actually a good matchup. Anyways, let's see here. Visiting travelers and newts often appear at the oasis in the morning. Okay. Travelers may become residents if they like the oasis. Newts will buy many things from the bloom booths, but they will not become Oasis residents. Okay, so we have one traveler and three newts in the Oasis right now. Inside the Oasis, you can instantly move your home by tapping the fast travel button on the touchscreen. So, what do you mean by that? Go home? Oh, okay, so we can instantly go back to the house. That's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go over here and let's talk to the travelers and the newts. So here we go. Hi, how's it going? It looks like that's a newt. So they're going inside the store and I think they might be buying something. At least, I hope they are. And from the looks of it, they did. So that's actually really cool. The more business we have in the Oasis, the better because that might attract new people in the Oasis. Anyways, let's see here. Aw, oh, the store is closed? Why is that? Maybe she needs some more fruit, so let's see what's going on over here. Hi, Pammy. So, you're the chief here. I'm Pammy. I'm training to become a master pinwheel maker. I've been traveling in the desert for so long it totally wore me out. I feel so lucky to have found your oasis, but can I tell you something? I went to buy some fruit at the bloom booth earlier, but it sold out right before my eyes. I've never seen anything like that. Ah, it's such a shame. I was really looking forward to some delectable fruit, too. Well, I guess I'll have to see if I can find some more fruit. Hi, Lily. What's going on? Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Someone recently came to my bloom booth to buy some fruit, and now you are sold out of all the fruit you had. I'm assuming they bought everything. But unfortunately, just prior to that, a hungry little newt came along and bought up all of my wares. The nerve! Hey, Chief Alex, can you bring me some more roseberries? If you do, I'll be able to sell some fruit to the customer from earlier who missed out due to that voracious newt. I mean, I can go and try to find some more because I think the fruit actually grows there every single day. So if we go over this way, we should be able to find some more fruit, so... Let's see here. Let's go over here, and it looks like the roseberries are there. Let me actually clear up this sand here. There we go, and now let's get some more roseberries. There we go, we got two roseberries. Yesterday we got three, so that's a little bit odd, but hey, at least we have roseberries. Anyways, let's go over here and let's talk to the owner of the fruit shop. So here we go, we're sold out of everything at the moment, sorry about that. Inventory decreases when Bloom Booth goods are sold. Build up inventory by restocking materials that can be sold. Okay, restock, and there we go, give both of the roseberries. 
And there we go. That should be enough for now. Okay, you don't have any materials to restock, but luckily I put the materials that were needed inside. So let's see here. Thank goodness you're here. I ran out of things to sell and I didn't know what to do. Phew. Well, I guess that's that, so let's get going. When merchandise sells or is restocked at the Bloom booth, the quest gauge will increase. Once this gauge is full, the booth owner will give you a special request to level up the Bloom booth. Okay, interesting. Alex, please tell everyone about my sweet little fruit shop and its adorable owner. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. So it looks like Pammy is right there, so let's see here. Looks like the sold out sign has been removed. That means more fruit for me. Okay, so here's your chance to buy some fruit. Hopefully a newt doesn't sneak in before you. Here we go. He's inside the fruit shop and he got some fruit. Awesome. Awesome indeed. So there we go. Now let's talk to him. Here we go. Hi, Pammy. Fruit is so delicious. I feel my energy returning to me bit by bit. As long as there's a fruit shop like this in this oasis, I'll be able to work at my peak performance. Does that mean you will be a resident now? Because that would be pretty cool. Hey, do you think it'd be okay for me to become a resident of this oasis? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. So here we go. Pammy is a new resident of the oasis. There we go. The pinwheel shop can now be grown. So now we have a total population of two people in the oasis. That is pretty awesome. That is definitely pretty awesome. So Esna is talking to us now. Wow, Pammy's going to be a resident here. In other news, there are those pretty sparkles coming from the spring. Don't ask, just come here, Alex. Okay, sure. Does that mean we can actually level up the spring or something? Or what's going on? Maybe we can level up the oasis to level 2. That's a possibility. So let's go and talk to Esna inside the Great Tree Spring. Here we go. And we're going inside the Spirit Shrine. And here we go. Good morning, Alex. Look, Alex, the water is shimmering. Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. The oasis appears to be brimming with power due to the collective happiness of the residents. Offering up this power at the base of the spring makes our oasis even stronger. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. It looks like we are upgrading the oasis and what just happened? There was a burst of light and now it looks like the oasis is actually growing. That's really cool. The oasis has leveled up. That's awesome. It's now more green. It's got more plants. That's really cool. So now our oasis is level 2. The main road has been expanded. Now you can place two more bloom booths. Wow, the oasis has grown so much. It's incredible what a community can do when it pulls together, isn't it? Yeah, it is. If we continue to grow our oasis, there will be more space to protect people against the terror of chaos. Alex, together we can protect more of those in need and see our oasis flourish even more. Yes, we can. That is actually really cool that we leveled up our oasis, and I can't wait until we can actually level it up again. So here we go, leveling up the oasis. The oasis will level up as the number of residents increase. As the oasis level increases, the main road and surrounding areas become more developed, and you will get new abilities. Okay, that's pretty cool. So does that mean the farm area has increased in size as well? Because that's definitely a possibility, and it looks like the tree might have actually increased as well. Or no, it's actually just nighttime. That makes sense. Hey Alex, why not stay and chat a while? It gets kind of lonely here. You've been so busy since we made the Oasis together. I miss you. I figured it'd be nice for us to do some chatting up. Sure, why not? Hmm, now what to chat about? Oh, oh, I know, uh, something neat. A long time ago, this desert used to be flush with greenery, just loaded with it. Really? There's no way that's possible. I wasn't around to see it myself, though. Back then, everywhere you looked was oases and water. Life flourished, water spirits were everywhere, too. Legend tells of our lands, lush with greenery and flowers, stretching as far as the eye could see. Kinda hard to imagine in this dry expanse, huh? Yeah, but since the chaos appeared, bit by bit the oases vanished 
and the greenery also did the same. I worry so much about the travelers out in the desert, trying to find their way all while avoiding the chaos. And from the sounds of it, we are the only oasis left. And that's kind of sad. And you see, the thing is... Uh, Alex, do you promise not to think I'm being silly? Sure, why not? My biggest goal has to do with our oasis. Okay, I want to expand more and more until it's huge so that chaos can't overcome it and the desert can be restored, then all of the desert dwellers could live life peacefully without the fear of chaos. I'd like to think it's an attainable goal, but I know I can be fiercely optimistic at times. No, 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 no. It's definitely possible. I mean, if we try, we can definitely make our oasis the largest oasis that has ever existed, and we can get rid of any chaos that exists. And that's actually my goal, too. Hee hee, you're so nice to me, Alex. Thank you. No problem. Prior to meeting you, no one has ever come to this spring. I was so lonely and anxious here all by myself. I worried that I would never meet a child of the great tree to help me build an oasis. But then you came along, Alex. I was so happy. I am so happy and grateful. We've only just met, but it's clear to me that you are a sincere, kind person who respects and values everyone equally. With you, Alex, I believe that we can make my big dream come true. Our oasis is small but mighty. With time, care, and love, it'll grow to be an incredible sanctuary. I agree, and that's what we're going to do. Oh, wow. I've really been yammering away. Better get to bed. You've got an early start tomorrow. Alex, thank you for listening to me, for being a good person. Let's have more chats like this, okay? Sure, why not? Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. So here we go. Let's run back over to the house, and let's rest until the morning. And once the morning is here, we have a lot to do because we have to go through some more tasks probably and we probably have to restock the store, rather the bloom booths. So here we go. Let's try and get started with that by going over here. And then let's quickly go over to the farm and let's try and grab some stuff from over there. Oh hi, how's it going? It looks like Pammy is looking around for us, or maybe Pammy has a task or something. So here we go, let's go and talk to him. It appears that Pammy wants to speak with you, go on then. Okay. Here we go, let's go and talk to Pammy. Hi Pammy, how's it going? Okay, here we go. Oh no, I keep talking to the newt. Here we go. Pammy, what's up? Good morning, you're looking chipper. Thanks, I guess. I wanted to talk to you. I heard some interesting chatter lately. Sounds like there's a woman in the horned cave digging up rocks like her life depended on it. Weird, right? Yeah, it is pretty weird. It's hard enough just walking through the desert, much less setting up a work site there. Okay, do we have to find that person? Some folks in the oasis might have heard rumors about travelers you haven't yet seen. Be sure to talk to everyone and find out what they think. Maybe we have to go and find that person. There may even be travelers from far outside the oasis willing to settle here. Okay, Alex, you should try venturing outside the oasis. Let's greet the rumored traveler. If you follow the main road, eventually it will lead you out into the desert, shall we? Sure. But first, I actually want to go over here and I want to try and get some fruit, because if we can actually harvest the fruit now, then that will be a very good thing. So here we go. It looks like there are three roseberries, so here we go, harvest all three of them. And let's see if there's anything else over here, but from the looks of it, there isn't anything else in the garden. So maybe at some point, there will be more flowers in the garden, but for now, there really isn't anything. So let me actually run over here to the fruit shop, and let's restock it. Here we go. Restock and let's give all of the sour fruit. There we go, 15 out of 20 stock. Thank goodness you're here. I ran out of things to sell and I didn't know what to do. Okay, here we go. Let's go outside and now let's follow the main road over to this mysterious cave that we have to go through. So here we go. Let's walk all the way over here. And now, what is this? I actually have no idea, it's some sort of platform or something. At warp points, you can save the progress of your adventure. 
Interesting, so I can just walk onto this and I can save my game? That's cool. You can now use the Warp Point Oasis. That's actually really cool. What's this over here? Oasis Hotel Guests. Zero Travelers, two Newts. I didn't even know we had a hotel in the Oasis, but that's definitely pretty cool. Anyways, let's run out here and let's go over to that mysterious cave and let's try and find the person who was a rumored traveler. So here we go. We're outside the Oasis and from the looks of it, there's monsters and plants and a bunch of other stuff. The Car Dunes. This looks really cool. Wow. This actually looks really cool. So what do we have to do now? Alex, stay on guard. Chaos monsters are beyond our oasis. If you're in over your head, there's no shame in turning tail and fleeing. Choose your battles wisely. Okay. Now then, let's go seek out some travelers. Okay, here we go. Outside the oasis, you can attack. A is a light attack. X is a heavy attack. Select map from the to-do list on the touch screen and head to the blue marker on the map. Okay, here we go, and let's press map, okay, it's right over there, alright, so it looks like the mysterious cave is over this way, so let's carefully walk over this way, and I'm going to try and avoid most monsters, but I will fight one just in case we need to like actually try out our abilities and stuff. Alex, it's a chaos monster. Keep a close eye on its movements and fight wisely. Okay, here we go. Press L to lock onto an enemy. When an enemy starts an attack, press B to dodge the attack. Follow a dodge with an attack by pressing A or X and become a battle master. When you press L to lock onto an enemy, you will lock onto the nearest one. Press L again to lock onto a different enemy. You can run away from enemies, but you'll run faster if you press Y to put your weapons away first. Okay, here we go. Careful. Careful. Okay, there we go. Attack. And dodge. 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 Attack. Okay. Did we get taken down? I hope not. Alex, are you okay? Don't forget that it's always acceptable to run if things are going to get tough. Okay, I'll try and run back to the house. Stronger chaos monsters appear at night. If an enemy is too strong, press Y to put away your weapon so that you can run away faster. Better to live and fight another day. Okay, put away the weapon and let's actually run back over to the oasis because I kind of want to heal up. So here we go, running back over here. And let's go back inside the oasis here. So it looks like the oasis is right over here. So let's go inside, and hopefully that'll heal us up. At least I'm kind of hoping that it does. It's possible, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it looks like there's a new traveler. That's cool. That's very cool. Evia, new traveler. Phew, thank goodness there's an oasis here. I don't know how much longer I would have survived out there. Okay, Evia. A nervous seedling girl who specializes in making drinks. Cool. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you indeed. So let's actually go and talk to her. There she is. Hi, how's it going? Hello, I'm Evia. Nice to meet you. It's not every day that you get to- Ow! Sorry, I just bit my tongue super hard. Now that I've had time to catch my breath after finding this oasis, I'd like to have a nice refreshing drink. Um, if I had some cactus pulp from a cactus outside, I'd be able to make some for myself, but I don't, so... You're asking me to find you some cactus pulp, aren't you? I mean, I can do that, but... You know, I've got some other quests going on right now, too, so... I guess I'll do both things, so here we go, let's go outside. And I'm actually going to do the first thing first, like I'm going to go and find that cave and then we'll get the cactus pulp so here we go let's walk over this way and let's try and avoid most monsters because I don't really want to deal with them right now since I'm not really prepared to do that so it looks like there's a cave right here so let's go inside 
and it looks like there's a monster right behind me, but I'm going to go inside the cave before anything happens. So here we go, we're inside the Horned Cave. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So is there anyone inside here? And what is that? A petrified branch. Interesting. Very interesting. It looks like this is quicksand or something. Okay, so what is this? Maybe we have to use this on it and that might give us something. And from the looks of it, it dropped a sturdy vine. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, it looks like that traveler is over here. Somebody. Please, somebody help. Sure, I'll help you out. So what do we have to do here? Maybe we have to use our wind on the sand to get the sand off of the traveler yikes looks messy over there but Alex you'd better go and help out okay here we go let's do this and there we go are you okay I hope you are you came to save me I was so preoccupied with ore mining that I didn't notice when the ceiling suddenly started caving in and the sand was so heavy I couldn't move I thought I'd end up being a fossil here I don't know who you are or where you came from, but thank you so much. No problem. Now, I can finally do some mining. Well, here's the thing. You actually want to come to my oasis, or do you want to continue mining? Because there's an oasis really close to here, and you could actually come over there if you wanted, but I'm fine with joining you for some mining, so here we go. Let's do some mining. Let this traveler join your party. Sure. It's great to meet you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on, we haven't actually met yet. I'm Sasha. There, done. We met. So, yeah, it's great to meet ya. Sasha joined the party. Press up or down to scroll through the characters that are under your control. Okay. So, the question is, how do we actually mine? Various raw materials can be mined from these sparkling rocks. You can interact with certain hotspots to excavate. Press up or down to switch to a party member with an appropriate skill, and then press A to excavate. Okay, here we go. And we got a whirly bead. And from this one we also got a... Oh wait, no, we got a petrified branch. But we can continue mining here, and we got another petrified branch. And from the looks of it, there's actually an area in the wall that is a bit cracked. So maybe at some point we'll be able to go through that. And that does it. I probably should have asked earlier, but just why is it you're here anyhow? Well, you see, I'm the chief of an oasis, and that's sort of why I'm here. So you're the chief of an oasis, eh? Yeah, that's amazing. I'm surprised to hear that an oasis was revived here in the desert. I've always wanted to grow a bloom booth of my own, if I ever found an oasis, that is. But now I know that I can come visit your oasis. I'll see you there soon. Okay, I'll be anticipating your arrival. So here we go, we completed that. And information about the seedling Sasha has been registered. A girl who had gotten trapped inside the horned cave. Okay, interesting. Wow, you did it, Alex. Can't wait to see her back at the oasis. Yeah, I'm excited to see her at the Oasis too. So let's actually go back to the Oasis and let's do some stuff on the way there because I do have to get the Cactus Pulp before I actually go back to the Oasis. You can tap the map on the touch screen to scroll through it. You can also tap an entrance icon to see the name of the location. Okay, that's cool, and I actually want to get back to the base really quickly, or rather back to the Oasis because we aren't really in the best position to do stuff right now, so let me actually do that. There we go. And we got some cactus pulp, so let's actually try and find some more before we actually have to go back to the oasis. And I don't really see any more cactus, so that's a bit of a problem, because there isn't really much around here. But from the looks of it, there is one more over here, so let me actually run over here and let's break this cactus. And once we actually get all of this cactus, we need to go back to the base. Also, something just like shook the floor there, and I don't think that's good, because that might mean it's a giant, like, monster. Also, there's another monster over there, so let me avoid it. And then let me break through this. 
There we go, we got three cactus pulp. So now it might be the best idea to actually go back to the oasis because it's nighttime and as the game said, at night the monsters are a lot more powerful so I don't really want to deal with them right now. So I'm just going to go back to the oasis and I'm going to really quickly give the cactus pulp to the person who asked for it. So here we go, let's walk around here and let's go and give the cactus pulp away. So here we go, let's go and find that person. Hey, Chief Alex. Hi, how's it going, Lily? What's up? I sold a bunch of fruit while you were away on adventures. I'll share my duodem profit with you, okay? Sure, thank you. I appreciate that. No need for modesty. After all, you're the one who supplied the stock for my bloom booth to begin with. Cool, thank you. When bloom booth sales start to add up, the duodem icon will appear on the roof of the store. Perform a green gale on a bloom booth with this icon to collect the duodems that have been accumulated there. So I guess I'll do that now, so here we go, let's use the green gale. And there we go, how many duodems did we get? We got a lot, we got 370. That's really cool, that is actually really cool. Isn't that awesome Alex, now you can grow another bloom booth, yes I can. So before I actually do that, I want to talk to Evia and I want to give her the cactus pulp. Um, did my request end up being bothersome? Not really, but we actually got the cactus pulp, so that's what matters. So here we go. Oh, that's cactus pulp. Did you really go and gather some just for me? Yes, I did. You shouldn't have. Actually, that's a lie. Thanks. As a token of my thanks, please have this deco plant seed. Cool. Thank you. You got a token of thanks. Tasty Treat Seed. I appreciate that, because I'm assuming we can actually put that in the garden, and that'll probably be useful with some other stuff too. What a nice chief, you seem to be truly dedicated to keeping this oasis running smoothly. Yes I am, and the question is, are you actually going to be a resident, and from the looks of it, you are, so that is awesome. I'll work my tail off, I promise. Phew, glad I built up the courage to ask. Well. I appreciate that you asked, and I'm glad that you're going to be a resident of the Oasis. So there we go, deco plants increase the sales of nearby bloom booths. Try planting some via the bloom booth screen. Okay, here we go, let's do that. And let's make a bloom booth, and let's also plant some of these plants. So let's see here, I think I will put one of those plants over here. And let's go over to this plant and place that there. And now let's actually make a bloom booth by going over here. And I can actually make both of these. So that is awesome. Let me place one over here, like right here. And then I'll place the other one right next to the plant. So here we go. We are making a bloom booth. There we go, and now time to put the duodems on it, and once we do that, the bloom booth will grow, so here we go, it's starting to sprout, and here we go, it's growing into its full like form, and this is the bloom booth that we made, the pinwheel shop, and that actually looks really cool. I'm not confident that my pinwheels will sell well, but I'll give it my best shot, okay. I have confidence in you, I'm sure you'll be able to sell many many pinwheels. Anyways, let's actually make another store over here and let's make that. Here we go, another bloom booth. And let me actually skip through that because we're going to see the bloom booth at the end here. And that also looks very very cool, similar to all of the other bloom booths. Wow, hmm, I wondered if I'd be able to set up shop here. And you did, and you're also next to that plant that you gave me, so that is awesome. Anyways, I'm going to finish that up, and I think now I'm actually going to head over to the house and I'm going to save the game, because I think this is actually a good point to end off the episode, so thank you all so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Ever Oasis series on the channel. Bye, everybody.